Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. And before you click off, as you can see, we have Jiggle Physics. So I'm gonna explain Jiggle Physics in this video, among other things. First things first, Jiggle Physics start at 1 minute 30 seconds. Before that, what I did is I rigged this collar, the one that I made last video. Um, because I wanted to play around with this, with the Jiggle Physics thing. So what is his jiggle physics say, a thing? Um, I found a what is it called? An algorithm, a a a, a script that lets me apply some kind of force to bones. So what I did is I decided I'm going to rig this color, as you can see. The, each of the coins and each of the gems on the coins gets a single bone. So this is uh, 24 bones in total, which I added and then weight mapped by hand. This is something that you will see in the video in the background, kind of. But I want to talk about the jiggle physics that you want to hear about the jiggle physics. That's why you are still on this video, I guess. And let's start right now. Okay, so uh, there's studio. And what I did is, as you can see for this short animation, I used a few anim blocks, the start walk, the walk and the stop walking block. And what this does is it gives the animation, uh, the figure in this case Genesis 2 female an animation you can see the legs are a bit weird so I had to actually touch up the whole thing and fix the leg uh, the the foot posture but in the end it worked quite well so showing you this bra basically broke the whole thing so I had to reload the whole scene after doing this and here we are back in the scene before I broke it by loading in a new any block. And the whole thing is set up. You see that I have 115 frames. Each frame is rendered because I used, or after I set up the any blocks, I baked this to the, to the timeline, I baked this to the frames. Which removes the any blocks and instead gives it frames. I need to do that, or you need to do that, if you want to use the script. You can see I'm grabbing the pectoral bones and I'm using the Spring Dynamics uh, script. It's very easy to use. Um, what it basically does is it adds a weight to a simulated weight to the bone. Um, I did this with the hair as well. So I wanted to try if, if this works for hair. And you can see that if I if I change the strength, it changes um, how strong the bone is affected. You can see this here. The breasts are more affected than the hair, actually. So let's check this out with the camera that I set up. And you can see the, the boobs are jiggling very intensely because I just basically put uh, 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 through the script on it without changing it back to the to the better values um, for the for the render for the animation that I made this is not the monthly animation by the way this is not my monthly animation there will co co come another one and it will have jiggle physics absolutely um, but yeah you can see changing around playing around with the script is still something that I have to work around with and yeah, but you can create these kind of dynamics with hair, with the boobas, with other stuff you want to jiggle. Um, if it has control bones, so um, the behind it does not have bones, so I cannot adjust this yet. And you can see this looks very weird kind of. I mean, it's, it's kind of fun, but also kind of weird. But yeah, that's it for this script that I used. And here's the actual thing that I made in the end. Yeah. Um, 
still setting up all the bones. This was a very tedious thing that I had to do actually multiple times because I broke the um, I broke the model um, one time, so I had to redo it. Um, this is the second attempt already, and yeah. After this, uh, the second time, this really worked well, so I actually set this up, and yeah, it's important to save in between, and I just loaded up the, the saved model, uh, simply because it is a lot easier to apply the weight maps on the loaded in model, if you save and, lo uh, and, and load it in the scene, instead of the original model, because it for some reason it gets very laggy if you use the original model, at least for me, and it is so much easier if you do this on the um, on, on the loaded in model, which contains all the bones that I just set, so yay. Mm, what I did in the first is I set the sensibility to something like 0 0.5, I think, is it 0 0.5? this um, and later on I decided since I'm giving the bones a complete 100% uh, weight mapping I can just go to set this to one and this is so much quicker uh, sadly I noticed this way too late I, I just didn't notice that I had set it to uh, 0 0.5 um, so this is on me took a lot of time that I could have spend actually working on stuff but well yeah um the idea behind this is that i wanted to also use the wiggle physics on this so if you jump back or jump to the very end where there's also a video you will see that the that the necklace also moves and the difference is that the um the the pectoral bones are set to return to their original position. Basically, they, they have original position and they, they move passively with the script and then they return to their original position. Whereas this necklace is not returning to the original position. I basically, there, there's the choice to remove this condition that it returns. So the necklace would actually stay in the changed position position once the animation ends yeah again um, saving in between just because this is important and I don't want to just have it crash on me and be rid of an hour or so of work all in all uh, rigging the whole thing took about an hour with with complete rigging and weight mapping um, the video is a bit longer because at the beginning there was a first try that I had to stop and then um, uh, redo. Basically loaded, uh, basically re just removed the object and loaded it back in because I already had it saved. And thankfully this time the save didn't break. But yeah, uh, something you will probably see, and you will also see more videos of me actually creating clothing that I then rig because I can now basically give this physics or at least simulated physics which is really really cool it's something I, I really really uh, enjoy because it just adds a lot of detail to the to the animation and it just gives a bit more realism basically because having these stiff clothings that don't move often breaks the uh, the the immersion and also the animation in itself speaking of the animation I will definitely redo the horse for the uh, the, the walking horse animation with more of this script obviously um, so look out for that uh, should come I think next weekend something like that um, depends I might actually not have a video next weekend because I'm very planned out so might as well be that I am actually 
all over the place but not at home on my PC so there might not be a video I don't know yet or maybe just a part of the current playthrough of the uh, of the game playthrough so we'll see about that anyhow that's it for this week for this video I hope you enjoyed this I hope you like the jiggle physics as much as I do and I will see you in the next one until then stay healthy stay safe and I will see you guys around <laughs>